Hi, I'm Marcia Weber and this is my gallery. Come on in. Hello. Well, I want to tell you a little bit about what this gallery is about. I have 1,200 original one-of-a-kind works here by self-taught artists. They're artists that have not had academic training in art, and they're the real deal and are very rare. Even though art doesn't look very rare here, um, it's because I've been collecting this art for 31 years for my gallery and really loving it for at least 45 years. Um, I collected personally prior to that, and my home got so filled with art that my husband said, you've got to stop collecting this art because we don't have room to live anymore. And I, well, couldn't stop. I just couldn't stop. I, I really love this artist and I love this art and I wanted to take care of as much of it as I could, especially the important pieces that I felt were just the masterpieces coming out of these artist studios. And I was so lucky to be very close to a lot of the artists in proximity. Um, Mose Tolliver lived only five minutes away from me, and he was really my introduction to this art. Um, I was very lucky that he um, had achieved greatness. I happened to get to know him prior to that um, because I worked at the Montgomery Museum when his art was being looked at and accepted into a wonderful show called Black Folk Art in America that was put on at the Corcoran Gallery in Washington. And the show happened in 1982, but I worked at the Montgomery Museum in 1981 when his art was being organized for it. So it just happened that I was one of the few Southerners that worked at the museum then, and the curators who were from the Upper East um, asked me to come and interpret for them because they were having trouble understanding what Mose said when they were asking him biographical information. So anyway, it just happened that I, I just fell in love with Mose. I really didn't get his art that much to start with because I had my fine art glasses just riveted to my head. It was it, it was just looking for fine art because that was all that I knew about at that point. But I love Mose, the man. And in order to appreciate this art, you really have to approach it with taking off your fine art glasses. There's, there's no other way to appreciate it because it has nothing to do with fine art. It's, it's not an imitation of fine art. It's the form it's, it's a form of art all on its own, and it's, it's, it's much like the visual form of jazz and blues. And if you're listening for classical music or classical art, you, you're not gonna see or hear this particular art form. We will go through a number of artists in depth, and if you follow this channel, I'd, I'd love for you to learn all about this art and all these marvelous artists some of whom are not with us anymore, but have passed on. But it's really through their art they live on, and I, I want to make sure that happens. Hi, I'm Frenchie. Come to the gallery. There's art here. Thanks for being here.